in the page nav I'm going to write dot click I'm going to make a function shift enter to get the enter or it will just add so shift enter and over to here I'm going to make a variable called me so I write this and then I want another variable over here called the reference and I'm going to say dollar this dot attribute reference like this then I will say dollar this particular thing dollar dot this dollar this dot add class active and I will say before that I will add remove class okay and I will just comment over here a simple comment and I will write if my reference is equal to or I can say if reference is equal to let's say page 1 then show else hide so this is what we are going to write this is the next logic so I can just hit enter now this is active when I click on this based on that it will come so what I'll do is I can just say console log me okay okay this is not working because there is no jquery uh, added into my project so what I'll do is I can go to j jquery cdn or I can go to w3 over here you will have the option so just try now this link just copy this link go to your project and add this link so you can remove a uh, bootstrap bundle from here just add the java jquery file because we are not going to use the bootstrap js now add this now as you can see it's active now when I click you will get so it was because of the jQuery file and it's fixed now so you can copy this code go to your project and add it over here okay perfect so this code is something that we are I'm going to add it into our js file so as i said i created a reference uh, a attribute called reference so what we are going to do is in buttons we are going to create another attribute called reference in that reference i will say page one page two and i will save so if page one 
I will copy this then I want to show uh, you know I want to show these particular uh, rows so charts for let's say page one I will copy the whole thing I will add it down I will say charts for page two I will give it a ID page one page two and I will write a style for this page two saying display none to hide it for now okay and I can just write uh, object 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 instead of this and say logo the refresh let's say I'll say buttons I will say buttons so in this way I can just manipulate okay how it's coming and when I click I have another I have the UI here now what I'll do is I'm going to write my if condition 